Welcome everybody, I am Jhart Ellis and today I'm going to open 105 Flame Atronach Crown Crates. These are available right now for a limited time. Important thing is just to see kind of what the drop rates are like on these. So I did get 105 of these. I These had been around before. I had not ever got very many of them. So I actually do not have any of the Apex from these. And as far as the other rewards, I don't have very many of those either. I think I had got only 15 of them or something like that. So I have 105 of these, hoping to get enough gems to get all the Apex mounts. So, and hopefully I get some Radiant Apex. Maybe. I'm not counting on that. But we're going to we're going to keep track of the Apex as we get them. We'll throw them up on the counter, and we'll throw up Radiant Apex on the counter in a row on separate thing. And here we go. So I'm going to open these up. We have Pakruti here next to the... Next to the volcano, we have 105 of these. Make sure you have inventory space before you open all of these. And hopefully I have some good luck. And I had 740 crown gems to begin with, so we'll, we'll see how many 100 crates adds to the crown gem total here. And we do have Twitch chat here, so I hope that they get a better impression of what the drop rates are like on these as well. And I'll interact with them a little bit as the crate openings progress. Benny.c says, good luck. I need it. I need it. Okay, getting sexy hairstyles and tiaras and things like that as we go through. For the most part, you'll get potions and gems and things like that. Okay, that's a legendary. It's not apex. It's legendary. Yellow is legendary. Okay, Dramora Kindfist Tattoo. Interesting. Very flashy. Very flashy. Helping for Apex. And hopefully you get legendaries and the epics and the superiors as you go through this. Okay, bonus card. Some of these items had also previously been available during other other offers, so maybe not everything will be due. Royal purple lipstick. If you want a really dark look, it's a good one. Okay, we're 10 in. We're already 10 in. No Apex. Fire Cyclone face markings. Another bright, bright look for your face. There's lots of things that will augment how your character looks, right? Yeah, there's a crimson lipstick. There's a purple lipstick. They can make a subtle difference with how your character looks, right? Okay, we are going. Opening. 105 of these. I would guess overall I should probably end up getting like two Apex. Maybe, maybe if I got more than that, I would probably be surprised. If I got one or fewer, I would probably be super disappointed. So, we'll see. Flame Pixie, Flame Pixie Memento. It's not a pet, it's actually a Memento, so you summon it. It stays around for a little bit. Sorohawk says that lipstick is a must-have for role-playing characters. I, I can imagine. It seems to be the best thing I've got so far. There we go. Radius Rebreather. There we go. Kind of like a Dwarven-style hat. There we go. Fennec Fox. Oh, yeah. Fennec Fox is a really cute pet, too. Really good for, like, deserty type of housing builds. You can always use the mounts and the pets as furnishings within your house. There we go. We got an Apex. It had it has a different little animation around it. Flame an animation. Here we go. I don't know if it was radiant. I don't. Boom! Flame Atro Horse. There we go. We'll add to our Apex count. There are six different mounts. We'll preview these at the end as well. Okay, and continue along. So many. <laughs> we'll just keep adding. For the most part, you're just. Anticipating getting lots of gems. Right. Flame brow, fire veil. Ooh. Nice and flamey. Good. Okay, continuing to open. Got one apex. That was actually earlier than I expected, so. Not bad. Not bad. Body markings. If you don't like the poisons and the potions and things like that that you get, 
then you can turn them in for a small amount of gems at the end, as would I'll be doing for most of the consumable items. Like these experience scrolls, I'll just be turning them in for a couple of gems. Oh, there we go. Got motif book, Akaviri style. That might be kind of valuable. If you need to learn it yourself, then, you know, you get the all 14 pages learned at once. And... You have to just weigh whether you value gems or gold more than that, because you can also just go buy the Akaveri style motif pages with gold in the game. They drop from various events like the anniversary event. Yeah, Radiant Apex mounts have very low drop rates. Definitely not expecting to get one today. There may be like a 1 in 200 chance, maybe even lower than that. So there are only three Radiant Apex. They have different colorful rewo uh, colorful auras around them. So they're, they're kind of special, but yeah, people on Twitch are asking about what they are. Okay, continuing along. So we'll just kind of see what the drop rates are like. Getting lots of little pets. I think overall, as far as getting a handful of like mementos and costumes and face augmentations and things like that, that crates can be a good value as long as you're not super picky about what you're getting. And then you will you will get some gems along the way, so you can kind of go and buy with gems the things that you want to get. So, but if you're like really wanting that radiant apex, odds are super low that you're going to get it. So. Just, just don't be too caught up in things. I, I think that's general advice on that. Don't plan on getting anything in particular. Flame Eruption! Ooh, I think I had bought this with gems before. It's actually really cool. It does this big eruption. It, you, the best place to do this is on Zanel Theran, the luxury vendor, when he's popping up, when everybody's partying. It's very flashy. The eruption's a good, good memento to have. Okay, here we go. Continue to... Open these. Yeah, you can't buy the Radiant Apex with gems. That's one thing. Okay, bonus. You'll get bonus reward every five packs, roughly, on average. Yeah, you can buy Apex mounts. They're 400 gems each, which ends up being a lot. You can't buy Radiant Apex, so... Kind of wish they would change that, but it's how it is for now. More gems, more gems. Hoping, hoping for some luck. I got one Apex. That's good. Another Akaveri book. I actually have this learned, and they are cheap enough. I will just be gemming these. I think you can get 33 gems back. Picruti is mean, generally. Okay, bonus card. Oh, wait, this is an Apex card. Wow, my bonus was legendary, but I have an Apex. Boom. Okay, there we go. Already had the Ice Wolf. But, Flame Atro Bear! So I got Horse, I got Bear. There is also... There are six mounts, and there's also an Epidermis for this. A fiery skin for yourself. So there are, I believe, seven different Apex rewards. We'll preview them all at the end. Because I probably won't get them all. <laughs> I know I won't, but we're up to two, which is kind of more than I was expecting. It's actually pretty good so far. But I still need to get enough gems to actually be able to buy the other things that I might want. So hopefully, I might have to get picky with what I want to spend the gems on. <laughs> yeah, let's make, make fun of Pakruti. I'll have better luck. I think that's how it goes. Oh my, wow. Okay, I got... Wishes you great luck. Oh my goodness. I actually got something. That's not supposed to happen. We'll add to our Radiant Apex counter. So this one's special. It's special, you see? We'll count that for both the Radiant Apex and the Apex. I got a Radiant! Oh my goodness, it's a Night Frost Atronox Steed. It has, like, cool blue flames that come out of it. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. We have 50 crates left. T chance to get the other two as well, right? 
Press my luck. I'll press my luck. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Now, the last time I did a crate opening, I opened more than 200 crates from the, the, the dragon scale crates. I didn't get a single Radiant Apex, so it is it is kind of unlikely to get any. So that was lucky. Or may, I, don't, I don't know if there are pity timers on these sorts of things. My guess is... Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh, it's a sweet roll. It's my it's like my favorite thing. I actually used this <laughs> for my screenshot for our orc party cost, uh, contest. Orc party contest coming up this week. Uh, cool. So Resplendent Sweet Roll is kind of like a special thing. It's it, it actually can be gemmed for 400 gems. So basically... You can keep the furnishing as is, which is a, a shiny sweet roll. It's glorious. Or you can turn it in, get 400 gems, and then you can buy the apex mount that you want, right? That's the basic premise of that. So, that was cool. That's cool. I'll probably just keep it as a sweet roll, because I really like the sweet rolls. Shiny gems, my compliments. You may have already had one or two sweet rolls. Okay, legendary. I've been weirdly not getting very many legendaries. I've been getting lots of apex. Is a sweet roll huge? No, it's like it's, it's like that big, like a normal sweet roll. It's tiny. <laughs> it's like one of the most valuable furnishings, and it's this tiny little glowy thing. Glow equals value, right? All the shiny things. Okay. This has been going amazingly well, so I don't expect to have this level of luck. I think I had terrible luck last time, so I think maybe it's coming back to me. Maybe it's it's the ebbs and flows. I'm I'm more on the good range here. Okay, good good good. Oh, Vinny Dotsy says uh, if you use a sweet roll, can you gem it later? That's actually a cool thing that you can do with a lot of the furnishings that you get, as long as you're getting them from the packs themselves. You can always gem them later. There are a lot of other furnishings that have been in other crates that you can gem for like 33 gems each, or the sweet roll, you can always gem for 400. So yeah, you can go use it and then just gem it when you want. Oh, and thank you Lipton254 with the follow, thank you. Okay, we're doing this. We're getting more. 33 left. About 30, well, more than two thirds of the way through. We're at four Apex, which is amazing. I was only expecting like two, maybe three, maybe three. Bonus? Apex? Mm. I, okay, okay. Pacruity, I, oh, I would have loved you more. I would have loved you more if, if I didn't just get gems out of it. We'll add it to the Apex ca counter, but that doesn't help too much. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, Dean3040. Thank you so much. You do get 132 gems back if you get a duplicate Apex. Okay, Banner Malakath. So this is kind of one of those things. Do I want to keep the banner? You can gem it, get 33 gems back out of it. So I'm going to be on the fence about that. Shadow Rider Cinch. I, I do like that one. That, that's my favorite Radiant Apex of, of this great batch. The horse is good. The horse is good. No. Pacruity, don't get me wrong. I like, I like the horse. I would have liked the scent a little bit better. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm being picky. No, okay, okay. No, I won't be picky. Oh, Stormahawk. Oh, yeah, Stormahawk. I think I've got this Radiant Apex before, so I'll sh Maybe show that off at the end of the stream. That'll, that'll be work. That'll work. Okay, bonus. Bonus. Okay, starting to get to a point where most of the blue items are duplicates and most of the purple items are duplicates. Probably a couple of legendary items I'm still missing. Gold ones. Still missing four of the Apex. Actually, five of the Apex, because there's a skin, too. So, getting... 
getting close to the end. 20 left, 20 left. Yeah, people are always on the fence about whether to gem their furnishings or not. <laughs> Why am I opening 105 of these? Well, because I like the consumables. I like Well, I like the collectibles, especially. I like the mounts of the pets. And I'm also just always curious what the my luck's going to be like. So sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not. But, you know, you get a little fennec box or a little pocket mammoth along the way. I think they're cute. So that's one thing. Now, I kind of wish that they would actually make it so you could put more more mounts and pets in your home. I'd be more inclined to actually buy more of these if they were something you could actually do more with. So, But, you know, you can change the style of your character or you can get mounts and pets and write those about or have those follow you in town. Or you can put them in your house as furnishings, right? And you can get some rare furnishings out of them too. So, kind of a lot, a lot of things that are kind of packed into these crown crates. If you're just getting a couple of them, I think that they can be of okay value. But don't count on getting Apex or Radiant Apex. Okay. Opening a few of these. Like getting some robes. I need the flame skin. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. Now, I started with 740 crown gems before this. I'm almost at a thousand just because of, like, when you get duplicate costumes, they'll just automatically add to your total. I'll get extra gems when I get rid of all my potions and things at the end. We'll see what the total is. Oh! Prodigious Brass Mud Crab. That's what I needed. It's actually a good addition to, like, an aquarium for a house. So, that's a fun one. Okay, just a couple left. A couple left. <laughs> Cloud Trader loves that mud crab. Mud crabs, infamous in Skyrim, right? And fun addition in ESO2. Okay, few more, few more. Last chance. Two purples. That'll be a lot of gems, at least. A couple gems. Okay, three crates left. Three crates left. Last chance. Last chance. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have the mud crab. See, I didn't have much from these before I started. Okay, a couple, couple more, couple more, last one, last one. Okay, that's it, that's 105. My crown gems went up by nearly exactly a thousand, just based off of getting like little five gems from these here and there. Oh, thank you, Cricket74 with follow. Okay, now what I'm going to do, next thing to do, is go to your gem extraction and see if could decon this for 400. I am going to gem the Akaviri style some of these writing lessons I had from before. I'm going to keep my Malakath banner. I may be holding on to... Well, no. These were actually all from these crates. I'm going to gem them all. I got 33 experience scrolls. I'm going to gem them all. <laughs> okay, getting gems. Getting gems. Getting gems. The writing lessons I mostly had before. I actually keep those. I think those are actually kind of useful. For the most part, I don't think very many of these consumables are super useful. I think the gems are better. I'd rather have the gems than a lot of these consumables. I probably wouldn't ever use most of these. They're not even as good as a lot of the other things that exist. Okay, and after that, I have 2200, so I ended up netting about 1500. What, 1490? Yeah, something like that. Uh, gems. Very, very close to 1,500 gems from 105 packs. Okay, and there we go. This is the Crown Trait. Crown Crate Tracker add-on is sending information about this to the community and aggregating the results. My results today were pretty good. Five Apex, including including one Radiant Apex. <laughs> it's mailing. Yeah, if you can well, get the Crown Crate Tracker add-on and help add to the, the data, that will be helpful. Okay, we did we did good. Yay, it aired out. Perfect. Okay, so if you want to go preview these, we're going to preview these very quickly. You can do two things. You can either go and look from the preview and you can see these, like the Radiant Apex. Here is the Sentry I didn't get, or the, the Wolf I didn't get, 
for the uh, cinch. I like the wolf too, but I got the steed. It's probably yeah, it has like this little tail. That's kind of cute. I can imagine the tail being full because of the ice, but that's what these are. I like the I like the wolf, and I like the cinch. Okay, and then two ways to preview these. You can either preview them all from here, or you can go and preview them, including the icons of them from here. So you can I got the bear and the horse. Got a couple of the bears. Too couple too many of the bears. Titan says, is the preview radiant part of the add-on different? No, this is a base game thing. You just go to the you just go to preview, hit R, and here are the radiant apex. So you can always preview these. And then since these are limited time the limited time offers will show up what the flame atro crates actually have in them so some of these i might have had from before some of them i maybe got today so i actually still didn't get quite oh i look weird without my helmet on <laughs> ebony brassilisk sentry cat bear oh it's a big bear I ended up not getting too, too many of the legendary ones, right? So, Scorpion Fabricant. There are big statues that you can get from these. Or here's like a tapestry, it's pretty big. Oh, here's a Flame Eruption. It's a perfect one to do with Xenothran during, or just whenever you're celebrating. Flame Eruption's a good one. Okay, and I'll pretty well do it for those. Coming down to Epic Rewards, you can see some of the different styles of these. And thank you, Ruhu Omen, with a follow. Thank you so much. In the Epic, you do see a lot more just like face customization things, but a couple fun little pets and things here and there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh! 105 crates, <laughs> awesome. Congrats again on the Radiant. Oh, Rogue ESO Night's Watch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was actually just super surprised to get a Radiant Apex. Like, after opening 200 of the... Okay, so the, the funny thing is, the funny thing is, I had opened 200 of the Dragon Scale crates. I only got three Apex. I opened 105 of these Flame Metro and got five. So... It's just going to be kind of super all over the place, so don't expect to get many. I, th I mean, expect to get three out of 200. Don't expect to get five out of 100. I think my luck today was actually really, really good. So, lots of good pets here. Lots of good pets. This is actually a really popular hairstyle. It always just looks like it has, like, somebody melted red crowns and, like, stuck them in their hair. I don't quite, it doesn't quite work for me. But some people like it. It's actually a way to give bald characters hair, though. Okay, and there was a Bandari Peddler. Bandari Peddler crates I opened 200 of and had bad luck with. I think that was it. Or you get into the superior rewards. There's still a lot of, like, Cool little things here like lipstick or even little guars so cute things that you can get from these fire orb it's a fun one okay we got we're good oh i only got one <laughs> i got one radiant apex i if i got more than one i would have i don't know what i would have done i would have I would have been surprised. Pocket Mammoth fun. Okay, and that's pretty well it. That's pretty well it. So, fun things from that. Yeah, Bandari Peddler is still available right now, too. So, you know, Flame Atro will go away just pretty soon. But if you kind of want a sense of like what some of the drop rates are like on this, it'll be similar for Bandari Peddler. Uh, again, if you want to go preview these, you can preview these and preview like the Apex things that you might get. We didn't get any of them. I didn't get any of them. Up in 200 of these, I didn't get any of them. Oh, that's sad. It's okay. Okay, and... 
Okay, well, I, I'll wrap up the VOD here for, for YouTube. So hopefully this has been helpful as far as kind of knowing what to expect out of the crown crates, kind of what's in them as far as mounts and pets and mementos and books and things like that. So yeah, you can get some good things out of them. You have to weigh whether or not these are actually going to be good value for you. And if you do open them, I hope you get what you're looking for. Uh, and if you don't, well, you can buy them with the gems that you get out of them. So just, just be careful with that and be mindful of what you actually value as far as what is in the crates. So yeah, and there you go. This is crates. I, I try to do these pretty often. So uh, be sure to sub to me on YouTube and you can follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Ellis. And so... Good luck to you if you do the crates, and stay spicy.